Hey, what is up guys? Guitar here, welcome back to another Girl Cafe Gun video. Alright, there's a couple of new events going on right now and I just want to make a quick announcement regarding my guild and I noticed there are some of the players that have joined me the first time that they are not active anymore. So if you guys are planning to join a more active somewhat casual guild like for now i don't plan to there's nothing to be hardcore about all right but how i gauge the players is based on the daily missions so if you guys are interested to join a more active guild search me up look for lolly hunters would prefer if you guys can join the discord but if you can't it's fine the minimum requirements for every single week is to at least contribute 200 points weekly activity all right 250 is a bit difficult because to get 250 one of the clan mission right here you need to pull in character supply 10 times and the weapon supply as well so to factor those things out i don't want to force players to pull if they don't want to i understand that some are free to play want to save so yeah 200 minimum weekly i think is achievable for a lot of players and right now i have like three to four slots feel free to apply if you are on asia server okay let's talk about the new event there's two events going on right now it's pretty straightforward pretty easy i actually like the event right now Okay, number one is this birthday party event and this one is just a login event, the Luna New Year sign-in event. I have no idea why they are doing the Luna New Year event right now. A bit too ahead of its time but okay, um, we are 3 months away from Luna New Year or 3-4 months. Basically, you get some furniture just claim every single day. Now this one is the birthday party so make sure you guys do this every single day. As you can see, you need to reach affection 30 with Nola Moon to get one. Uh, it's like a bingo event. Every one of these has its own requirements, like spend a total of 1.5k power and then complete any solo stage 60 times, like all of this. So make sure you guys try and do this. One of it is requiring you to, yeah, you need to use 3000 of your earth coins to basically try to achieve this bingo event. Now, if you manage to claim all, apparently you're gonna unlock the birthday moon. She's actually not bad. Uh, she is a bio character, so red character. I already have the mid moon, which most of you might have as well. So that's also red. And I believe they use the same weapon. Can have the ability to restore HP for all team members. So she's like a healer. I would say try your best to get this free character. Uh, healers are quite rare. All right, having the birthday moon into the, you know, your roster of characters is definitely going to help you out a bunch. Now let's talk about the event right now. If you go into the event, let's jump into the fight. The battlefield processing, as you can see, we have two events. Alright, this one is going to, going to go away, the four allies. Let's talk about this for a little bit, just a quick one. A bunch of you guys have been asking me, what is this 66%? This is not the in individual rankings, this is rather the server's ranking. A certain number of victories to provide support for all commanders on the same server. There's only so much you can do. In my server, which is the Asia server, only 66% of the players made it all the way to the end, I believe. That's what this means. And the other 34% did not make it. So it is what it is. So let's talk about the cafe heist. heist. This is a very straightforward event. You just farm in either easy, standard, hard, challenge. So requirements are not too difficult. The hardest one only requires 14,000. Most of my characters combined with 3 supports are about 17,000. But you can definitely get some bonus by using any of these characters. So the two current new characters, the Chong Sam Shi Wu Xia, Chong Sam Shi Wu Yo, are right here as well. And of course the Maid Su Xiao Zhen, Tactical Equipment Yuki, Maid Cornelia, Casual Grain, those are recommended. So farm as many as you can right here, and then buy as many as you can from the shop. As you can see, there are plenty of things that you can purchase. We we'll highly recommend to get this. The yellow mods are very hard to obtain. The mods for sure. The furnitures, uh, it depends. Like it's a Luna New Year furniture. It depends on how you are into decorating your stuff. But there's plenty of the fantasy light and dust items that you can use for your characters. Would we'll definitely highly recommend you guys to grind as much as you can. Also, forgot to mention shop. Make sure you guys come here and claim this every single day. There's this thing called the Girls Gift Daily Pack. I believe it should be throughout in the entire week when the event is going on. Alright, in terms of the current banner then, is it worth pulling? Let's talk a little bit about the current banner. Because I want you guys to be aware of, you know, if you guys are planning to save or you're trying to save for the next banner, should you focus on this current banner? 
Now let's bring up the tier list for the CN tier list so you guys can draw the comparison. There's only two new characters in this Lunar New Year event right now. You can see Shi Wu Yo and Shi Wu Xia. Now we're gonna try to bring up the CN tier list right here so you guys can see. Let me try and Google translate it so you guys can see. Uh, this is based on the strength of ranking output. And you can see Shi Wu Yo is right here. All right, she's an A tier. She's not the highest tier. She's not exactly S tier. But she is actually pretty good, A tier. Alright, and Shi Wu Xia is actually C tier for defensive, alright, in terms of survival uh, rankings as opposed to the offensive rankings. So they are both alright. Preferably, you get Shi Wu Yo over Shi Wu Xia because she's the better one out of the two. And also, please, like I mentioned, uh, the moon is actually S tier. So make sure you guys get the free moon. I think that should be your focus. You want to get the birthday moon. Focus on getting her, alright? She should be your top priority because she's going to be the best healer that we'll have in the longest time ever. And also, we have new weapon banner as well. I wouldn't recommend pulling on this. Corrupt Spider Queen and Winter Diffuser. I'm not exactly sure how strong these two weapons are. I feel like they are pretty decent. I did pull a little bit in the previous one. I don't think I'll be pulling for any of these weapon banner anytime soon. Not sure in terms of the weapons, how strong they are. If you guys have any information, let me know in the comment section below. But for now, if you are looking for meta, I wouldn't recommend pulling in the current banner at all. But I'm still gonna do it because I want to complete the birthday moon event right here. And one of the requirements is you need to spend 3000 earth coins. So let's go. I will do some pulls and see if I can get lucky. I haven't gotten a 4 star in a long time and there's two cats so usually there's two cats outside the door licking each other. That means there's a chance that this will be a 4 star. And is it a 4 star? Purple, yellow, yes! We got lucky right there and it shall be... Okay that's Wuxia so the, you can see the yellow shining golden on her so it looks like we got the she Wuxia which I would... wait who is this? PlayStation controller. So this is new for me. This is the Axistier casual version. I don't think I've gotten her yet. Okay, so we got Shibusia, Lida, and there we go. I believe... Wait, is that Wuyo or Wuxia? That is... Oh, we got Shibuyo. Nice! That's the one that I want. She's the better one out of the, out of the two, right? I almost can't recognize myself dressed like this, okay. I thought I got Wuxia. I can't re I can't differentiate both of them. It's quite hard to to differentiate them, especially when they have the outfit, the costume. I guess I'll stop pulling. There's no reason for me to go further. Common. Oh, we got Axistier again. Okay, I've already obtained that. That is pretty good. So one thing that you guys need to take note of, alright? I hope you guys are aware of this, which is the how the banner works. If you skip this current banner, right, it's okay to skip it because you can still pull the characters in the next banner. So as you can see, every time, they will always add the characters from the previous banner. So right now you can see the first three characters that were introduced in this game, if you guys played when it first launched, was the main characters. And then after that, they added Tactical Equipment Irene and Yuki, and then the Swimsuit characters Existia and Juno, right? As you can see, they are always added to the banner constantly. So even if you miss any of these characters, don't worry, there's a chance for you to get them in the next banner as well. They'll be added to the permanent banner. Uh, and I do think that as time goes, they're going to stack more and more characters into the banner. First, let me show you guys my roster, just a quick one. Some of you guys might be wondering, you know, who have I leveled up so far? So level 70, Maid Moon. Uh, I did have level 70, Casual Cornelia. I think she's really good. So I do have a level 70 Swimsuit Moon as well. So another Maid Yuki for support. So the Tactical Equipment Shi Wu Xia level 70. And level 70 Casual Shi Wu Yo. The rest are still at level 60. To get from 60 to 70, you're going to require quite a lot of resources. I'm slowly working on that. I'm trying to work on my Psionic team as well. To hopefully try to balance things out. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it again. If you want to join my guild, come in and join in the Discord. So hopefully... I can get in touch with you guys. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.